Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to GFD Traders Espresso with me, Darison Charles, today is the 24th of March 2020. So yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this uh, Tuesday's morning session, uh, morning uh, re recorded session, as, uh, of course. Um, as always, guys, before we um, jump in into the charts, because in this video, we'll again review everything what's happening in the markets, um, or at least try most of it, uh, to, <laughs> try to review most of it. But um, yeah, guys, b before we jump into the charts, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. Um, so the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. Um, as always, a few seconds for you to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, so as always, just before we jump in into the charts, quick mentioning of our GFD YouTube channel to which you can always um, subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Um, and of course, our GFD Bank website and specifically our GFD research page, which we also update on a daily basis. So yeah, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research uh, well, page tab right there, guys, on the top. So, um, and I believe you can find a lot of useful information here. <clears throat> Okay, so um, before we jump in, quick, uh, just a quick review of what's happening here uh, with the coronavirus. So basically, uh, in our traders' tea time yesterday, uh, I looked at this one and the number was around 375 or something like that, approximately around there. Um, so yes, we can. It continues to grow. Um, the total amount of deaths also continues to grow. However, it has slowed down a little bit. Um, but the more important here is the total recovered as well, because um, we can see that people are recovering slowly. Um, and uh, yep, uh, for now, um, I mean, we'll see how everything plays out. But again, hopefully this number, uh, ho ho hopefully this number st stays low, um, or the at least the 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 speed of the uh, the acceleration or the speed and the acceleration of the um, death number um, continues to slow down. So, uh, yep, that would be wonderful to see, I would say. And, uh, yep, of course the, uh, total infections, I mean, I mean, hopefully everything kind of slows down again, basically that's long story short. Um, I hope you guys staying safe. I hope you guys staying indoors. I mean, that's very important and you probably already have seen and read and everywhere. And why is it important to stay at home? So, uh, in order not to spread the, uh, the bacteria further. So yep, guys, um, I hope you stay safe. I hope you, um, uh, well, at least in, try to enjoy the time in inside. Um, anyway, let's jump into the charts. So the first one I want to touch on here is the FTSE 100. Now, here, uh, the index is um, basically yesterday it closed in the red, um, but still remained uh, above this key important area I talked about yesterday, the 4,900 uh, 900 zone and the 4,868 territory, so 69 zone, something something around here. Um, basically, we needed a, a nice good drop below this territory before we could consider further declines. Uh, we didn't get that; it closed close to it, but as you can see, still remained above this this highlighted territory. This is our break. Uh, this is our breakout point uh, for uh, in order to kind of aim further down. Looking at the cash index right now, the price is back around the 5,180 zone. So basically, it's, it's around not far from the uh, this little high here, uh, this high of yesterday. Um, so, yep, uh, we, we can see that the price is currently balancing just uh, fractionally below this, below this level, below this 5,195 zone. So, in a way, 
if we get a push above this and then we see a further climb uh, above the 5,295, then yes, of course, uh, higher levels could be met. For, for today, um, you could, like I said, keep an eye on this level, on this 5,195 zone. If we get a push above this, then in a way, we are aiming for a bit of a, a larger correction here to the upside. Initially, we'll target the 5,295 zone. And then we could even go further north towards this uh, towards this downside resistance line taken from the high of the 24th of February. So, yep, keep your eyes on this one. Um, the German DAX. Now, uh, here it's a similar situation. We are seeing a bit of a rebound. Um, the in the cash index, the price is currently around this level here, around this 9,141 zone. I spoke about this one last week. Basically, this is what we needed in order to aim a break above this. Um, we needed in order to kind of aim for uh, for higher uh, for higher levels for a, let's say a slightly higher, uh, larger correction here to the upside up uh, up and, uh, towards this downside line. And uh, for now, uh, yes, we're going to keep an eye on this one. And if we do get a push, a good push above this level then yes we will aim for a bit of a bit of a correction here to the upside again don't get me wrong keep your eyes on the four hour chart because um, ideally maybe uh, what you could do here is keep your eyes on the four hour candle if the four hour candle stays above the territory then yep we could see maybe another uh, round of buying but of course don't forget that um, still there is a risk of this one reversing sharply to the downside so uh, in a way if uh, always keep this in mind that even if the four hour candle closes above this um, yes we'll be very careful yes we will uh, aim for a bit of higher a, bit, a few higher levels here but don't forget that the daily candle if something changes during the day the daily candle might quickly reverse uh, the the other four hour candle might quickly reverse down and the daily candle will end, end the day uh, with a nice false breakout like we had here. So it's something to keep in mind, something to consider. Uh, but of course, for now, looking at the picture and on the cash index, there it's, it seems that there could be a, a bit of hope that we could see some uh, a bit of larger, uh, a slightly larger correction to the upside up until this downside line taken from the high of the 20th of February. Um, DXY. Now, uh, I talked about this one uh, yesterday and basically still I'm, I'm staying with the same idea where uh, I've mentioned yesterday that in a way we could see a bit of a drift lower here. Uh, we could see a test of this 23.6% ret uh, retracement on the Fibonacci, uh, which is around the 101 territory. And then maybe if it holds, we could see a nice rebound and a push higher again. So uh, because for us to consider lower levels, ideally, we would prefer to see a drop below this 99.91 zone or this 38 point uh, 2% uh, retracement on the Fibonacci, then yes, uh, we would uh, we would aim for lower levels. For now, uh, for now, uh, yes, from the very very short term perspective, and this is by the way a daily can a daily candle here, a daily chart. Um, and for now, we could aim for a bit of lower uh, lower levels here, especially like I said for this 23.6%. Um, if it holds, then yep, uh, it this is where it could become very interesting for the uh, for the buyers um, if it breaks th this little territory for us is somewhat of a neutral one but if it starts dropping below the 99.91 zone then yep further declines could be possible uh, gold so uh, managing to manage to rebound nicely and as you can see this is what I talked about uh, previously uh, last week when I was covering gold basically I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this uh, 1445 level which as you can see kind of um, it wasn't really tested, but this area around it kind of acted as a very good uh, support zone. And uh, the commodity didn't even drop drop below this, and uh, because the idea initially was that it might, if it drops below the 1445, then yes, we will aim for lower levels, but only slightly lower levels because we do have this upside support line taken from the lowest point of August uh, 2018. And uh, we, if it holds here, we could see then a nice rebound. But the 1445 area continued to hold, and as you can see, yesterday the commodity, the precious metal, exploded to the upside, traveled higher, and today we are pushing uh, uh, further north. Now, as I've mentioned previously in my videos where, I've where, where I was covering gold, 
that we, in order for us to get a little bit more excited with higher levels, we need to see a nice good uh, break and ideally maybe a close of a daily candle above the 1575 zone. So in a way, we're en route. Uh, we Half of it has been done already, so we managed to break the 1575. Let's see if the, um, but the, the price slid back below it, but let's see how the day is gonna end if and if we're gonna stay above this barrier or not. Um, if we do, then yes, there is a more, a, a bigger chance that we could see uh, a further move north so keep your eyes on this one um, the WTI oil quick update not much happening here but basically again it's working out according to the plan uh, that I've the the scenario that I've mentioned yesterday so we're, we're keeping close eye on this area because um, the idea was that I've mentioned yesterday in my video uh, was that we could we could see a bit of a correction here to the upside, but if it struggles to overcome this 26.08 level, that's by the way the lowest point of 2016. Uh, let me just show you this one quickly. There we go. So that's the lowest point of 2016. Um, and uh, if we, if we see that the commodity struggles to overcome this 26.08 level, then yes, this is what we're looking here for. We're looking for another potential potential slide, uh, possibly possibly drifting back towards that psychological 20 territory, a break of which, uh, of course, would confirm a forthcoming lower low. And uh, yep, we could start aiming for lower levels. For now, uh, keep your eyes on this level. If, if, like I said, if we get a push higher again, uh, keep your eyes on this 26.08 zone. Let's see how this is going to play out. But if it continues to hold, then yes, um, another round of selling could be possible for us to get excited maybe uh, about some higher levels ideally we would prefer to see a push above the 30.17 zone roughly around here and then basically aim for higher levels for now uh, for now, we are, uh, like I said, very careful here. Um, we're not really, uh, of course, ideally, we would prefer to see maybe a larger correction here to the upside, but we'll uh, we'll go as it is, and uh, we'll we'll it, the, the 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 commodity is currently a, a here below this 26.08 level, so uh, so basically there is a bit of more chance more chance for this one to drift lower, and uh, that's why we're gonna keep an eye on this level. Uh, Ripple. So um, I've looked at this one recently, and uh, basically uh, still for now the same idea remains. Uh, yes, we did get a push higher. We did get a test of the 0 0.1760 zone, uh, which is the lowest point of December 2019. Uh, also, this downside line continues to hold. This downside line is taken from the high of the 15th of February. Um, again, again uh, continue observing this one because as you can see, we're uh, yes, we are getting those push uh, pushes higher, uh, but it's still the, the price still remained below this downside line. So in a way, if this uh, if this line, if this downside resistance line continues to get respected, well, I mean, uh, we could see another round of selling here um, <clears throat> from the short term perspective. And this is, by the way, a, a daily chart. So from the short term perspective, um, maybe even for today or the upcoming day, keep your eyes on this little level here, the 0 0.1450. Now, that's the low of yesterday, a drop below this. Um, this is where it could become very interesting for the uh, sellers again. We could see this one drifting uh, towards the 0 0.1290 area, which is, uh, as you can see, acted as a fantastic area of support. <clears throat> but if that fails to withhold, then, yep, a uh, further decline uh, could be possible towards this uh, lowest point of la uh, f last week. Um, is that correct? Let me just, uh, I think it, it was last week. Uh, no, that was that was the week before that. So the lowest point of the week before that, or in other words, let's put it that way, the the current lowest point of March um, near the 0 0.11 zone. So basically, long story short, here guys, we continue observe to observe the, this downside line um, and. Um, if it continues to hold, keep your eyes on this level right here, the 0 0.1450. However, in terms of the upside, now here previously I talked about this level, the 0 0.1990. Um, of course, this level is for us a still a very important one. We will continue observing this one. But given that uh, the price has shifted a little bit more to the right here right now, 
we could start looking at higher levels if we get a nice good push and a, a daily close above the 0 0.1760 zone. So this area here, which acted as a good area of resistance and support, could become now the, the, the breaking point here, uh, the breakout point for some higher levels. Now, at the same time, uh, we could see the price uh, climbing above the 21 EMA here, shown as the uh, 21 EMA on the daily chart, because this is a daily chart. Um, and uh, yep, this is the, the if we, we get a push above that, then this is where more uh, buyers could see an opportunity to step in here. So yep, for now, we're being very careful and cautious here. And uh, yep, keep an eye on these two levels for at least for today and uh, or today or tomorrow and uh, yep uh, let's see which way that's going to break out to uh, USDCHF now here the situation here is very interesting because on one hand uh, we do have an overstretched to the upside pair uh, which managed to reach an area the area near the 0 0.99 uh, uh, level here last week and uh, <coughs> excuse me now the <clears throat> uh, now the pair it, the pair is correcting lower so of course don't get me wrong um, it's still kind of balancing near this downside line taken from the high of the 29th of November um, at the moment you can see that it's trying to break that line um, even if it breaks it uh, probably then we will remove this line and what we're going to focus mainly is on this upside support line taken from the low of the 9th of March um, if if this upside line holds then yes we could see another round of buying here um, so keep your eyes on this one it's going to be very interesting in case let's say this decides not to travel below this downside line and still this downside line will provide good decent support and we see the we will start seeing the the um the rate reversing back to the upside now this is a four hour chart let me just quickly jump in here so if we see a nice reversal here uh to the upside straight away then well um yes there could be a good better chance for this one to drift higher but in order to be on the safe side probably wait for a push above the 0 0.99 level here and this way the pair would confirm a forthcoming higher high and uh, yep higher levels could be met for now all eyes are on this downside line uh, let's see how this is going to play out because again for now if if it drops below this if the four hour candle stays below this downside line uh, then yes we will aim for that uh, deeper correction to the downside because as you can see uh, here on the 20th of March n the four hour candles managed to break this downside line but neither of them closed uh, below it so in a way this line kind of is um, acting as a good uh, a area of support here so that's why uh for now guys let's see uh let's see if we can uh, if we can get a close here of a four hour candle below this downside line if we do then yep we will aim for uh for this for this upside support line um and then we'll take it from there see what it wants to do after if it holds above this downside line then well i mean we could see a nice reversal earlier um be very careful here still but for those who are more on the cautious side you could just wait for a break, a break above the 0 0.99 level and then we could aim for higher levels um nzd jpy so this is where it's interesting um here the so the pair managed to make a uh, lower, uh, sorry, a higher low. And uh, as you can see, now there is a good potential for this one to kind of push higher. So on one hand, uh, we do have a pair which is still trading uh, below this downside line. So uh, taken from the high of the 17th of January 2020. Um, and on the other hand, we do have a an, uh, another downside line here. Let me just quickly draw this a little bit more accurately. Um, now uh here there we go so we do have this downside line now this is probably more uh relevant for uh today so all eyes are on this so this is where it's going to be very interesting to see if we actually manage to stay above this because i right now you can see that it's slowly starting to break this downside line taken from the high of the uh 25th of february um let's see if it manages to stay above this if it does then well all eyes then are on the on this little 
spike here that we had on the 19th of March and that's roughly around the 65 territory so um, a nice good push above the 65 zone here could in a way open the path towards higher levels because at the same time the rate would be placed above the 100 EMA here on the four hour chart and more buyers could see this as a good opportunity to step in and drive the pair further uh, north we do have a bunch of levels here uh, one of which will be the 66.62 uh, 63 zone which in a way probably by the time the pair could travel higher here would coincide with this 200 EMA on the four hour chart. So again, something to look forward to. Um, for the upside, if we get um, first, of course, some criteria have to be met. Uh, first, we need to see a nice good uh, close above this um, above this downside line taken from the high of the 25th of February and then a strong push above this uh, 65 mark here and uh, in a way let's say even if you put a pending order here um, of course the more important the situation I mean the, the, the most important fact here is to uh, have a nice stop loss because again as you probably understand and you are if you're trading not the first day uh, you understand that we could get a nice false breakout here a push higher and then the pair would quickly reverse back down by the end of the day and uh, we could be stopped out so that's why it's very important to have a stop loss in place um, very, uh, of course Put a stop loss whichever you are comfortable with um, and uh, you know you yourself better you know your account better so uh, but the most important is to stay safe and minimize your risk so <clears throat> again guys for now all eyes on this downside line and on this 65 barrier uh, for us to consider the downside again here well we would like to see a drop below this level here the 61.75 zone and then aim for for the downside again for now for now guys um, it's very interesting here. Let's see if this downside line can hold. If it not, if if it cannot, then well, maybe we could go for a bit of a larger correction here. Uh, GBP USD, so very important here uh, today. Uh, let me just quickly jump back into a daily chart on this one. Um, so today we do have some data coming out from UK, uh, some preliminary PMI figures. Um, so manufacturing, composite, and services. So services are going to be very in important to see how the whole situation with the coronavirus kind of affected the economy, uh, the British economy. If we do have the US uh, P uh, preliminary preliminary uh, services PMIs as well coming out later on so uh, again something to keep an eye on so first will be the UK uh, keep your eyes on that in a way for now from the technical perspective you can see that the uh, the pair is trying to climb back today we are seeing a nice boost here um, we, we're still considering this idea here that I've mentioned yesterday uh, where we could see a push towards this highlighted area here, this key area of, of, of resistance, um, just to show you where uh, what I'm talking about, this 1880 zone. Um, that's basically the uh, the low here of uh, of May 1985. So um, the 19 uh, 19 uh, 1.1950 area is the low of um, the the lowest point of 2016. So this is what we're keeping an eye on, and. Uh, this is what we would like to see. Maybe we'd like to see a larger correction to the upside. Um, but as I've mentioned uh, last week as well, um, we will be keeping a close eye on the monthly chart because if by any chance the monthly candle closes above the 1.1950 zone then maybe the pair is ready to go for a a larger correction to the upside here in april uh, but if we see the pair closing below the uh, 1.1880 territory here then well i mean further declines could be possible now this little kind of area in between this is our neutral zone and uh, basically we're just not going to do anything and uh, we'll just wait for a further kind of a and we will we'll wait for an indication of or let's say some sort of a signal a sign of what it wants to do further because again guys for now keep your eyes on the 1.1880 um, and the 1.1950 especially uh, closer to the end of this month uh, we do have still a few days left so yep uh, keep your eyes on that one but again for now for, for at this point in time what we're looking here for is we're you know, we are aiming for a bit of a maybe correction here again uh, maybe a push higher but if this area holds we, this is this could lead to another round of selling uh, for those who are more on the cautious side you could just wait for a drop below the 
uh, the lows of yes uh, last week uh, and the low of last week was around the 1.1407 so zone approximately around there a drop below that would confirm a forthcoming lower low and yep further declines could be possible and finally euro USD um, so uh, this is what I talked about yesterday um, looking at the four hour chart here you can see that the pair managed to break through the this deadlock here and uh, it managed to push above these 1.0777 and is now pushing above the also above the 1.08 level. I talked about this air, this area yesterday, and uh, uh, of course now the, the the pair has already kind of made a nice push higher. So whoever was keeping a close eye on this one, uh, what I was what I was saying yesterday that if we get a push a close nice close above the either above the 1.0777 or even better the 1.08 level, then yes we we will uh, aim for further uh, higher levels um, so we got a close above the 1.0777 that's the lowest point of February 2020 um, so that's great we did get these overshoots above the 1.08 level uh, now we're seeing that the pair continues to accelerate higher um, but but as you clearly see we are approaching this downside line taken from the high of the 9th of March and uh, the big question here is can this hold if it can uh, then we could see another round of selling. But if it cannot, then well, I mean, this is where uh, it could become very interesting for the uh, for the buyers, especially if the um, if the rate climbs above the 1.0952 territory, roughly around here, guys. Um, you can see that it previously acted as a good area of support and uh, also as a good area of resistance. So a nice good push above this kind of could just strengthen the idea of a potential move higher. Uh, and uh, yep, uh, all higher levels could be met. But for now, <clears throat> all eyes are on this downside line. In a way, I cannot really say anything else apart from that for now we will remain uh still bearish because it's still below this downside line but if this downside line gets broken and the rate climbs above the 1.0952 53 zone here then we will aim for uh for further uh higher levels for now uh, it's uh, it really cannot do that because again we are still below this downside line so in a way uh keep your eyes on this one also keep your eyes on a a false breakout um that happens often and uh, we could see a false breakout here but then it still ends the day below this downside line so very interesting uh, it could be a very interesting day today uh, something to look forward to and uh, yep let's see how this downside line uh, plays out here will it hold or where it will it break anyway guys i hope you found it useful and uh, thank you very much for sticking around and watching until the end um, once again i cannot stress enough how uh, guys stay home Stay safe, uh, keep your immune system on, on, on the top, um, and uh, yep, keep, your, keep it strong. And uh, like I said, try to kind of uh, protect yourself, guys, and protect the others as well. Um, anyway, if you want to join me, uh, or should I say, if you want to catch the video, uh, later on video, the, the trader's tea time, uh, that's going to be 14.15 GMT time or a little bit after that um, and then yes again we'll, we'll see what the markets are up to we'll pick up on some of these instruments and then we'll see how um, how some of them played out and uh, yep we'll pick up on some new ones as well anyway guys thank you very much have a wonderful trading day today and I'll see you later thank you very much and bye bye